Hey everyone, so my name is Emily and I'm going to be starting to do these makeup tutorials um, for YouTube because I am in love with makeup and I have an addiction to it. Um, I got in trouble the other day by my husband for buying some more makeup and he said that if I'm going to be buying that much makeup then I need to do something with it. So he suggested making YouTube videos. Um, so this is what I'm doing. Uh, I'm doing this for fun. I'm not doing it to get famous on YouTube or anything like that. A lot of my friends and family have suggested that I do YouTube videos because I like doing makeup and apparently I'm really good at it. I don't have any training. I never went to school for this. I just learned off of YouTube from all the other uh, makeup gurus that I've watched. Um, so yeah, this is what it is. Um, I hope you like the tutorial. If not, don't like, don't watch it. Um, if you do like it, subscribe um, and give it a thumbs up. Um, if you want to see more from me um, and you want to see a specific look, you can definitely leave a comment um, below and hopefully I can make that video in the future. Um, but in the meantime, I'm just doing this for fun and I hope you guys like it. Before we start, I just want to do a little disclaimer. I didn't create this look by myself. I did see inspiration on the Makeup Geek Instagram page, and I liked the look, and I had the product, so I just did that. So first, I'm going to prime my face, and I'm using Marc Jacobs Face Primer, uh, the Perfecting Coconut Face Primer. And I'm just going to put that all over my face. So next is foundation, and I'm going to use the L'Oreal True Match in the color C2. And I'm going to use a stippling brush to put that all over my face. I'm going to spray the MAC Fix Plus onto my brush, and that kind of helps uh, spread the foundation a little bit more, and so I have more of like a sheer foundation instead of um, it looking a little cakey. And then I'm going to go in with my concealer. I'm using the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in the color NW20. And I'm just going to apply that with my fingers and I'm going to do um, a triangle shape under the eye just to hide the under eye bags a little bit better. And then I'm going to go around the nostrils just to kind of hide the redness from there. And then I'm going to do my forehead and chin and nose just in the T areas. Then I'm going to use a damp beauty blender just to blend that all out. Next, I'm going to set my face with the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. And I'm using a dry beauty blender for this one. And I'm going strictly under the eyes. I'm packing that on so it doesn't crease because I do get really oily. And then after that I'm going to go in with a blush brush and I'm going to go over my entire face with a little bit of the powder as well. Then I'm going to go in with the Kat Von D uh, Shade and Light Contour Kit and I'm going to be using the um, middle shade um, called shadow play and I'm going to contour my cheekbones and temples and then I'm going to go along the jawbone just to kind of um, slender my face out. Then I'm going to go in with a fluffy brush and I'm going to go in the middle shade um, with Lyric and I hit pan on this and I'm so sad about it. I'm going to go under that car contour that I just did and sharpen up that line. And then I'm going to go on the forehead and under the eyes.
Then I'm going in with my eyebrow pencil and I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Brow Wiz in soft brown. And I use that spoolie just to get the shape I want and then honestly just fill them in in the way that you like them. So now we're going to do the eyes and I'm going in with Peach Smoothie by Makeup Geek and most of the colors I'm using is by Makeup Geek this video. Uh, and then I'm going to use a big fluffy brush to blend that out in this a transition shade um, so that when I go in with darker colors it will be easier to blend out. Then I'm going in with Creme Brulee and again uh, just one of those transition colors just to make it blending a little bit better. Then I'm going in with Chickadee and it's kind of a yellowy orange color. And then I'm just doing this all in the outer corner of the eye and blending that out into the crease. And then I'm using a big fluffy brush to blend that all out and you want to keep blending until there's no more harsh lines. Then I'm going to go in with Morocco and it's a bright orange shade as you can see. And if you have fallout, you can use a big fluffy brush like a blush brush and wipe that off your face instead of smearing it with your hands. Next I'm going in with Cocoa Bear, it's kind of a ready brown shade to darken up that corner again. I'm using a smaller brush uh, to apply this. I believe I used a small brush again with Morocco in the previous color as well. I just wanted to use this for more of like a precision to put it strictly in the crease and the outer V and not anywhere above the crease. And then I'm going to use a big fluffy brush again to blend that out. Then I am going in with Bitten, it's a brownie red purple shade um, and then again with that smaller brush and strictly putting it in the outer corner and then I'll blend that out with a big fluffy brush again. Then I'm going in with the last dark color that I'm using and it's called Americano, uh, again by Makeup Geek. I switched brushes, I decided to use the pencil brush because I really wanted to keep it in the outer corner and a little bit on the crease. Uh, and then I'm going to use a big fluffy brush to blend that out. And then I'm going in with Urban Decay 24-7 Glide-On Eye Pencil in the color Yeo. I just wanted a white base for the pigment to sit on so that the color pops a little bit more. And I'm 
going in with Makeup Geek Wildflower Pigment. I'm using a flat paddle brush just to apply that. and putting that all in the center lid and inner corner. Then I'm going back in with um, Americano just to darken up that outer corner again and blending that out so that there's no harsh lines. Then I'm going in with Make a Geek Voltage and putting that in the inner corner of my eye. Then I'm going to do my lower lash line and I went in with Americana at first and then changed my mind and went in with the Cherry Cola shade um, by Makeup Geek just to blend out that bottom eye to make a smoky look and then I went in with a pencil brush and Max Saddle to blend that out. But it's no use Cause you can't stop it from shining through It's true Baby left the light Then I'm going to uh, do my eyeliner I'm using Maybelline Eye Studio In blackest black And I used an angle brush to do this It was very difficult because I had a mirror in one hand And the brush in the other And it was very difficult to do the eyeliner So I did do the other eyeliner And fixed it um, Off camera but essentially you just make a wing liner and connect it from inner to outer corner, like you see here. Then I'm going in with Urban Decay 24 Hour uh, Glide On Pencil in Perversion just to tight line the upper line. And then I'm going to put curl my lashes and put mascara on. I use, on the top lashes, I used Too Faced Better Than Sex and then on the bottom line I did Maybelline's Illegal Link. Then I'm going to highlight my eyebrow bones with Becca Pearl. And then I'm going to put on blush and I'm using Head Over Heels Blush by Makeup Geek. Then I'm going to go back in with Pearl and use my two fingers to dab it on until I get the right shade that I want. And then I go in with my damp beauty blender again. Then I'm going to put on my Cupid's boat as well. Then I'm going in to do my lips. I'm using Urban Decay Super Saturated High Gloss Lip Color in Glinda. I'm going to line my lips and fill them in with that. And then I'm going to go in with Kat Von D's lipstick in uh, Noble. And there you have it. That's my look that I'm doing for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe and give me a thumbs up. And if you have any ideas of what you want to see for the next video, please leave a comment below. Thanks again for watching.